Exciting news about upcoming DC movies and TV shows. Release dates and beyond in 2024, 2025 and beyond. Hey folks, get ready for a bunch of awesome DC movies and TV shows heading our way. From the much-anticipated Joker 2 to the epic Superman legacy, DC and Warner Brothers are cooking up some fantastic stuff for us. DC's got a game plan to shake things up in the coming years, and there's a new dynamic duo in charge. James Gunn and Peter Safran are the co-CEOs of DC Studios. They're on a mission to create a more connected and cohesive lineup of content, starting with Chapter 1 called Gods and Monsters. Sure, there have been a few setbacks, with cancellations hitting projects like the Batgirl movie and some HBO Max shows, but it's not all doom and gloom. We've got the inside scoop on everything in the pipeline and even the lowdown on projects that didn't quite make the cut. And if you're hungry for more DC goodness in 2024, subscribe! Joker Folie à deux, October 4, 2024 The highly anticipated sequel is gearing up for an epic release, and there's a lot to be excited about. Following the success of the first movie that delved into the origins of the Clown Prince of Crime, this sequel promises even more thrills and chills. Joker, released in 2019, was a bit of a game-changer, bagging numerous awards and raking in a cool $1 billion worldwide on a modest $55 million budget. Now, with Joker 2 fully à deux, it looks like Warner Brothers is doubling down on success. Director Todd Phillips recently gave us a sneak peek into the world of Joker 2 on Valentine's Day, and he spilled the beans on the trailer, teasing what will have to wait until mid-April for the first glimpse. Mark your calendars, because the movie is set to hit theaters on October 4, 2024. Perfect timing for the award season. Hold on to your hats, because the budget for Joker Folie à deux is a whopping $150 million, more than double its predecessor. With a star-studded cast and exciting reveals, it seems like Warner Brothers is placing a big bet on this sequel. Speaking of the cast, Joaquin Phoenix is back as Arthur Fleck Joker, and Zazie Beetz returns as Sophie Drummond. But that's not all. Lady Gaga joins the crew as Harley Quinn, adding a major twist to the storyline. Brendan Gleeson, Jacob Laughlin, Catherine Keener and Harry Lottie also bring their talents to the table in undisclosed roles. As for the plot, much of Joker 2 is set in Arkham, following the intense events of the first movie. Get ready for a surprising tonal shift, because this sequel is going musical. Lady Gaga's casting makes perfect sense in this context, as she brings both acting chops and musical prowess to the table. The subtitle, Folie à deux, translates to Madness for Two, hinting at a shared delusional disorder. This musical approach might be a departure from the dark tone of the first film, but it's a bold and creative move that could add a unique twist to the Joker's character. And let's not forget the return of Hildur Guðnadóttir, the Oscar-winning composer of the first film, who will once again score Joker 2. With the filming taking on a musical element, Hildur's talents are sure to shine in a different light, promising a hauntingly beautiful and unconventional score. Superman Legacy, July 11, 2025 Superman, the quintessential DC comic superhero, is making a comeback in Superman Legacy. From the classic 1978 film to the polarizing Man of Steel in 2013, the history of Superman in cinema has been a roller coaster. With the latest installment aiming to kick off DC's new generation, let's delve into what's in store for Superman Legacy. Mark your calendars for July 11, 2025. James Gunn, the head of DC Studios, confirmed the release date for Superman Legacy during his address. The film is scheduled to start filming in March 2024 in Atlanta, Georgia, and is set for a theatrical release following the tradition of other major DC movies. Details about the plot are limited, but James Gunn has revealed that Superman Legacy will not be an origin story. The storyline will focus on Clark Kent, played by David Cornswet, as he navigates the challenges of reconciling his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing. Notably, the film is set in a world already populated by superheroes, with key characters like Lois Lane playing a pivotal role. The surprise addition of Angela Spica, aka The Engineer, as the villain adds an intriguing twist to the narrative. The casting choices have stirred some excitement and debate among fans. David Cornswit and Rachel Brosnahan are set to portray Superman and Lois Lane, respectively. Other notable cast members include Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor, Maria Gabriela de Faria as the Engineer, 
Nathan Fillion as Green Lantern Guy Gardner, Isabella Merced as Hawkgirl, The Batman Part 2, October 3, 2025. Matt Reeves' 2022 blockbuster The Batman left audiences captivated with its fresh take on The Dark Knight, portrayed by the brooding Robert Pattinson. The critically and commercially successful film set the stage for more adventures, and now, after a three-year anticipation, fans are in for a treat with The Batman Part 2. As the title suggests, this sequel will continue the narrative of the first film, delving deeper into the challenges faced by this iteration of Bruce Wayne. With Reeves back in the director's chair, details about the story and returning cast members are currently under wraps. Gotham City, with its myriad dark alleys and mysteries, offers ample possibilities for exploration, leaving fans eager to discover which path Reeves will tread this time. Unlike James Gunn's main DC universe, The Batman Part 2 is part of the Elseworlds title, allowing Reeves the creative freedom to shape the storyline as he envisions. The film is scheduled to hit theaters on October 3, 2026. The Brave and the Bold in Development James Gunn officially confirmed the development of The Brave and the Bold in his January 2023 announcement, specifying that a new actor would take over from Ben Affleck. Additionally, the project is set to introduce Damian Wayne, Bruce's son and a version of Robin in DC Comics, marking the debut of the Bat family in the DC Universe. The film promises to explore a strange father and son story between Batman and Robin, offering a narrative that has been absent from live-action portrayals for decades. In a noteworthy update from June 2023, it was reported that Andy Muschietti, known for directing The Flash, has been enlisted to helm the Brave and the Bold. Several actors have recently portrayed Bruce Wayne, including Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, Ian Glenn, Kevin Conroy, and Robert Pattinson. While Pattinson is expected to return in The Batman Part 2, he will not portray the DCU's version of Batman, as Reeves' The Batman films fall under the Elseworlds category. This means a new actor will take on the role of Batman in The Brave and the Bold. Although the official cast for The Brave and the Bold has not been revealed yet, several actors have been rumored to play the roles of the Caped Crusader and Damian Wayne's Robin. Some popular speculations for Batman castings in the DCU include Jensen Ackles, Richard Madden, Michael Fassbender, and Jacob E. Lordy, but nothing has been confirmed by DC Studios. Considering the introduction of a younger Clark Kent in Superman Legacy, The Brave and the Bold might also feature a younger Bruce Wayne. However, due to his son Damien, DC Studios could opt for an older and more paternal actor for the role. James Gunn, upon confirming the development of Brave and the Bold, disclosed that the film's inspiration would be drawn from Grant Morrison's Batman stories, spanning from 2006 to 2013 in DC Comics. Morrison's influential run commenced with Batman No. 655 in 2006 and encompassed various story arcs such as Final Crisis, Batman and Robin, and Batman The Return of Bruce Wayne. This series notably introduced Damian Wayne to the DC Comics universe, concluding with his tragic demise in Batman Incorporated No. 8 in 2013. While The Brave and the Bold is unlikely to condense the extensive seven-year comic narrative into a single film, it hints at a potential poignant storyline for the young Damian Wayne in the DC universe. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow in Development Kara Zor-El is set to make her comeback to the big screen in the upcoming film Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, a significant installment in the new DC Universe unfolding in Chapter 1 titled Gods and Monsters. Spearheaded by James Gunn and Peter Safran, DC Studios is embarking on a reboot of their franchises, aligning closely with the iconic comic book roots that initially propelled the brand to household recognition. As Superman Legacy initiates the dawn of this fresh universe, it seems fitting that Superman's cousin, Kara Zor-El, will soon step into his shoes and carry forward his legacy. So who is Supergirl? Supergirl, also known as Kara Zor-El, first appeared in Action Comics No. 252 and has been a prominent figure in DC Comics since 1959. As the cousin of Kal-El, Kara became an integral part of the DC Universe. In contrast to her more renowned relative, who was destined for heroism, Kara initially had no aspirations of being a superhero. Her dream was to lead a peaceful life in Argo City. However, with the imminent destruction of Krypton, Kara's parents took the decisive step of placing her in an emergency pod and sending her to Earth. 
the same planet where her infant cousin Kal-El was being sent. On the day Krypton met its demise, Kara experienced the loss of everything she knew. Awakening on Earth, she found herself endowed with the powers of a deity. However, Kara's life took an even stranger turn when she realized that she had emerged from a deep sleep decades after Krypton's destruction. To add to the peculiar twist, her infant cousin had now aged over a decade, leaving Kara in a unique and somewhat disorienting position. Kara finds it challenging to fully acclimate to her new reality. Unlike Clark, who managed to lead a relatively normal life, Kara had to witness the catastrophic destruction of her entire planet. Coping with the aftermath of such a traumatic event, coupled with her newfound powers, sets her apart from Superman. This crucial difference between Superman and Supergirl gives rise to a myriad of distinctive stories featuring the Girl of Steel. Kara eventually assumes the role of a superhero, joining the Justice League, becoming a Red Lantern, and becoming a member of the Legion of Superheroes. Supergirl's power isn't solely derived from Earth's yellow sun, it also stems from the inner strength she possesses. With that, let's discuss what Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow is about. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow is an adaptation of the Tom King graphic novel with the same title. In this narrative, Kara Zor-El embarks on a journey across the galaxy to celebrate her 21st birthday alongside her faithful companion, Crypto the Superdog. Along the way, she encounters Ruthie, a young woman seeking vengeance for her father's murder. Despite being on a planet with a red sun that strips her of her powers, Kara remains committed to doing what's right. United in their quest, Ruthie and Kara traverse the galaxies, determined to find and confront the killer, overcoming any obstacles in their path. Woman of Tomorrow serves as a deep character study of Kara Zor-El, showcasing her courage, resilience, and vulnerabilities, making it a standout and compelling story in the realm of DC Comics in recent years. When it comes to the portrayal of Supergirl, Helen Slater initially took on the role in the 1984 film. Decades later, Melissa Benoist assumed the mantle in the CBS series, later transitioning to the CW. Benoist became synonymous with the character, playing Supergirl for nearly a decade and becoming a central figure in the Arrowverse. Sasha Kelly recently portrayed Kara in a crossover between The Flash and Supergirl on the big screen. In the ongoing casting process, three actresses have already tested for the role. Millie Alcock from The House of the Dragon, Emilia Jones from CODA, and Meg Donnelly from The Winchesters and Legion of Superheroes. On January 30, 2024, James Gunn expressed admiration for Millie Alcock, praising her for the role of Supergirl. Gunn revealed that he had initially suggested Millie for the part over a year ago when he had only read the comics. Watching her performance in House of the Dragon, he believed she possessed the necessary qualities of edge, grace, and authenticity required for the DCU's portrayal of Supergirl. The key creatives behind the project include James Gunn, Peter Safran, and Tom King. James Gunn has also confirmed that Anna Nogira has written the script for the film. Gunn expressed his excitement about Nogira's work, praising her screenplay adaptation of Woman of Tomorrow as surpassing his expectations. However, the film currently lacks a director and further updates on the project are awaited. The Authority in Development The comic origins of The Authority trace back to the founding of Wildstorm Comics in 1992 by Jim Lee and Brandon Choi, aiming to establish a distinct identity apart from the DC and Marvel canons. During this period, anti-heroes gained prominence and a formidable superhero group called Stormwatch emerged. As Stormwatch's popularity waned, several members survived, regrouping under a new identity called The Authority. This transformation occurred after DC acquired Wildstorm in 1999. Initially written by Warren Ellis for the first 12 issues, subsequent contributors like Mark Miller, Grant Morrison, and others continued the series. The Authority eventually crossed paths with the Justice League when Wildstorm aligned with DC continuity following Flashpoint in 2011. Given that the upcoming DCU phase, under the leadership of James Gunn and Peter Safran, will unfold after the events of The Flash, it's plausible that the Authority film will draw inspiration from the comics, exploring the team's dynamics and interactions with other superhero entities. As for who comprises the Authority, 
As we said earlier, the surge of anti-heroes in the 90s reached its peak, and the authority superheroes, while advocating for humanity's safety, were not averse to taking morally ambiguous actions. In essence, their moral compass was somewhat skewed. The team consisted of Jenny Sparks, Jack Hawksmoor, Midnighter, Apollo, The Doctor, The Engineer, and Swift. While this represents their primary lineup, it is likely that the upcoming film will introduce another superhero from the comics as part of the authority. Jenny Quantum, hailing from Singapore, assumes the mantle of Jenny Spark's successor following the latter's demise in the comic storyline. In terms of superpowers, each team member contributes unique strengths. Sparks, known as the spirit of the 21st century, possesses the ability to generate and transform into electricity. Swamp Thing in Development Despite its limited success on the DC Universe app, Swamp Thing is set to be a significant part of the new DC Cinematic Universe. The upcoming Swamp Thing movie will delve into the ominous origins of Alec Holland's monstrous alter ego. James Mangold, known for directing Logan and Indiana Jones 5, is penning the script for the film. Waller Peacemaker Season 2 in Development Not everything is getting a complete overhaul in the new DC Universe, James Gunn's Peacemaker is not only getting a second season, but also an Amanda Waller spin-off series. Season 2 details are scarce at the moment, with the focus on releasing the Waller series first. Viola Davis will reprise her role as Amanda Waller in a series that expands on the conclusion of Peacemaker Season 1, with several other Peacemaker cast members making a return. Creature Commandos Animated Series, possibly 2024 James Gunn is turning to one of DC's lesser-known properties to kick off the new DCU. The Creature Commandos animated series, which Gunn has already written a seven-episode first season for, follows Amanda Waller assembling another team of incarcerated super-criminals to save the world. The series is currently in production, and Gunn has hinted at a potential 2024 release, possibly beating Superman Legacy to the finish line. Booster Gold TV Series in Development the charmingly eccentric Booster Gold is set to headline his own series in the new DCU. The Booster Gold TV series will explore the character's struggles with imposter syndrome as he journeys through time, utilizing future technology to transform himself into a superhero in the present day. Paradise Lost TV series in development In the absence of a new Wonder Woman movie on the immediate horizon, DC is forging ahead with a TV series set on the island of Themyscira. Paradise Lost aims to unravel the origins and political intrigue of Diana's home, billed as the DC equivalent of Game of Thrones. Lanterns TV Series – In Development The much-anticipated Green Lantern show is making its way to the screen. Titled Lanterns, this high-concept detective drama, inspired by True Detective, centers around Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. It remains unclear if this series is connected to the Green Lantern Corps show, previously executive produced by Greg Berlanti for HBO Max. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.